Drivers, to your cars. Hey guys, welcome to the Auto Club 400, the fifth race of the season. Uh, 40 laps here, 57 degrees, so it's sort of chilly for March, but the weathers are getting higher. And yeah, went to the north at 10 miles per hour, and we're gonna sim through qualifying. Auto Club is an interesting track. I do believe the inside does have the inside does have the advantage here, but then again, it may change as the tires wear out. Johnson is gonna be your pole sitter. Yeah, uh, about three and a half tenths is your separation between first and last. So it's a pretty even track. I, I, we should see lots of three wide, especially in the middle of the pack. Driver. Drivers, to your cars. Row one, we have um, Dylan and Johnson. Row two, we have Almirola and Custer. Row three, we have Truett and Lawson. Row four is Castle and Priest. Row five is Chase Elliott and Justin Haley. Row six is, um, yeah, as we get back to the front. We're gonna go head into spectator mode here. You could see where your driver started as we go green, hopefully. Yeah, you see more of the cars back there. And... Green flag is out in the air. Johnson didn't even go at the restart line. He went, he went like a bit after. There's already three wide action in the middle of the pack, including your last race winner, Chris Buescher. Oh my. Still already a caution. You did hear somebody scraping the wall, but I don't think that's really anything. And? First lap is clean. I think. Yeah, it's clean. The leaders are actually using the high side early on. Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, I was probably wrong when I said that the inside had the advantage. Almirola isn't trying to pass Jimmy Johnson, he's just trying to get in his draft. And they have pulled away. Yeah, there's still a huge pack behind them. Almirola gets it to the inside of Johnson. Will he have to run off the corner? Oh, they were side by side. Oh, we don't know who led that lap. Almirola was the guy who did. And Almolo using the inside passes Jimmy Johnson. We're only on lap 4 or 40. Bunch of 3 wide action happening here. You even see some guys trying to run the apron. Yeah, in the back, it, it's not uncommon to see four wide. Mm. 
something to note, if you're on the way inside, you're gonna like hit the apron and slow down a lot. Which has actually happened, it, which is actually what happened to Promenade right there. Uh, Almanola is still in the lead, Ryan Priest has moved to second, as they're all single file, almost. Behind the top 5, they're still like going 2-3 wide. So I should say behind the top 7. Yeah, Johnson had the inside, but Priest just had to run out the corner. Let's do a flyby here. That is just amazing. Yeah, the outside is really OP off the corner, but uh, in the start of the turn and throughout the turn, the the middle actually seems to be doing quite well. That's how Amarola got the lead over Jimmy Johnson. Either that or Johnson wasn't high enough. Something like... Yeah, he probably wasn't high enough. So yeah, Amarola has been in the league for quite a long time. We will go through the field. So Amarola is going to be your leader after 9 laps. Ryan Priest is in 2nd. Johnson's in 3rd. Looks like Stenhouse is holding himself well in 4th. Landon Castle is in 5th. Dylan in 6th. Chris Bush is 7th. Cole Custer 8th. Hemmick 9th, and Boyer in 10th. Ganassi guys in 11th and 12th. 13th is uh, Jurette. 14th is Chase Elliott. 15th is Suarez. 16th is Barry Hill, who started up in the top 10 and looks to be working his way up. Crap, I forgot. 17th is uh, Ty Dillon. 18th is 18th is Joey Logano, 19th is Bowman, 20th is John Hunter Nemechek, 21st is Matt Tift, 22nd is Chad Fincham, 23rd Kyle Busch, 24th Haley, 25th Ty Majeski, 26th Matt Benedetto. There's actually some good racing going on right here. Uh, 27th is. 27th is, whatchamacallit, Dale Wallace Jr. 28th, Ryan Blaney. 29th, um, the guy who, yeah, basically screwed himself on the apron. Uh, Palm Nod. And 30th is Kevin Harvick. Harvick has not been up front at all this season. And, yeah, I don't know why, he's just in a bad streak. 31st is LaJoy. 32nd is Ryan Reed. 33rd, Michael McDowell. 
34th, uh, Kansas. Oh, Newman, I should say. 35th is Christopher Bell. 36th is Bakislavski. Again, someone who's like below top 30. 37th is Byron. 38th is Reagan. 39th is Eric Jones. And 40th is Hamlin. Yeah, this is basically the battle for last. Nobody is DNF'd yet. Oh, lead change. Johnson just got the lead. Side by side for the lead. We have Ryan Priest and Jimmy Johnson. Priest looks to be leading this lap. It is lap 14 of 40. We have gone green this whole race. Do I have a race winner prediction? Oh, yes, I do. Um, I'm going to choose the 17 of Stenhouse. I mean, I know it's a. Uh, I know it's an odd choice, but he's been he's been like moving his way up through the pack, and he's actually showed that he had this B last season. I mean, last race. So I think he's gonna be able to do it and pass these top three. But who knows? Sorry, I'm just on Discord right now, as I'm watching the race. We have not had a single caution, which is actually a record. If we, if we don't have a caution for the rest of the race, that'll be amazing. Because that'll be the first time we haven't had a caution all race. Like, and we've had one or two, or sometimes even like six cautions in the first couple races we did. Johnson is still holding to the lead. We saw the pass on Priest. I'm gonna change the, some of the TV angles. Oh, looks like Priest is trying to go for the inside again. Will he get the run off the corner? Ooh, nope. But Almirola trying to shove it three wide. How will this end up? Oh, Priest breaks late, but somehow sticks his line. Oh yeah, now now people are making moves. Priest to the inside, Amarola on the outside. Amarola is sticking the middle lane, I think Priest is going to get the lead. But they're still side by side. Priest let that lap by half a car lane. Looks like Hemmerk is making his way up there too. Now he's in fourth. Uh, oh yeah, the field is definitely spread out. Uh, Newman is back in last by eight seconds. So that means by the time pit stops come around, uh, yeah. Oh gosh, they almost direct in the middle of the pack. By the time pit stops come around, we don't know if there's gonna be anyone who's gonna be lapped. Probably not, honestly. Unless, uh, somebody gets damaged on pit mode. But Priest still has the lead. Followed by Stenhouse, Hemrick, and Busher, your last race winner.
Yeah, Almirolo and Johnson are dropping like rocks after dominating the first half of the race. Oh, Busher looking for third. And Busher will get it. Oh, wait, hold on. Still side by side. Dylan gonna make it three wide. And Busher brings Lake out again on the inside to get the. Guess who's uh, making his way up there? Hold on. Kyle Lawson. He came out of, I wouldn't say nowhere, but Kyle Lawson has just moved up this entire race. And he, now he's up to... He's breaking into the top five. Speaking of the top five, when we did one of our run-throughs in the beginning of the race, the double zero of uh, Landon Castle was mentioned, but it looks like he's moved back quite a bit. And he's going to be the behind the other double zero of Cole Custer back in 10th. At least he's still in the top 10. Good day for Starcom so far. So we have passed halfway. And yeah. We've passed halfway through the race. So question is, when are pit stops going to show up? I predict? Lap 30. But it should it should happen throughout, like, sometime in the race. <sighs> let's, let's do another flyby of the field, see where your driver's at. We are 17, 16 minutes into the race, actually. So this could be our shortest race ever. This is not a good flyby view. I mean, it is, but... Let's, let's try this one. Oh, somebody's in pit road. Somebody's on the apron. Green flag pit stops. Almirola will lead us off. Looks like... Looks like three cars are gonna head off to pick mode. Uh, TV1. Harvick, uh, sorry, Almola, Elliot, and Justin Haley. Let's see if any of these guys will pit too. Ah, spectator's bad. Oh, looks like the leaders are going in. Is everyone gonna go in though? Oh, a few guys stay out, starting off with Hemlick. Hemlick is gonna lead Custer and, uh... Is that Castle? No, Custer and Dylan. And about 10 cars have stayed out. Everyone should be expected to pit this time by. Looks like a pretty clean slate of pit stops. This should... On, this should be the only pit stops of the day. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, looks like Hemlock is gonna come in. Will anyone else? Doesn't look like it. Everyone else is gonna come in the pit mode. As the last string of cars, uh... Yeah, last string of cars are gonna end, go on pick load, complete the pit stop cycle. Oh, it's more than 10. And from what it looks like, Amarola might have to leave. I think Amarola has to leave. Let's check. Oh yeah, we're not gonna tell, so far. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have the third pit stop, which means that he's not. And plus, he was the first guy to pit, which means that nobody's gonna hold him up or anything. Let's see if he's gonna be the leader after this round of pit stops. Be right back. Yep, I'm uh, losing the lead. Hold up. Yep, Almola does have the lead. So, we're gonna see where the field is gonna be throughout pit stops. Uh, Chase Elliott is in second, so pitting early actually worked out for a lot of the early pitters. Uh, that way you don't have to deal with traffic well at all. Ryan Priest will be in third. I think he was the leader when pit stop started. Uh, Stenhouse is in fourth. Chris Buescher in fifth. They pulled away from uh, Justin Haley. Daniel Suarez, who's in sixth. Blaney made his way up to eighth. Castle in ninth. And Hemrick in tenth. There's a bit of a pack here for 11th, 5 car pack. But it cuts his uh, title in. Matt Tift, Cole Custer, Matt Benedetto, and Harvick. They are approximately. 10 seconds behind. Then we have Brekis Lousy in 11th. He made up a ton of spots. And uh, Logano in 12th. McDowell 13th. Truett's 14th. Bubba Wallace in 15th. Goodbush 16th. Reagan made his way all the way up to 17th. And Larson went way down to 18th. Boyer 19th. And John Hunter Nemechek stayed at 20th. Newman made up a ton of ground, back up into 21st, good job for him. 22nd is Ryan Reed, so Roush guys, yeah. 23rd is um, Christopher Bell, 24th Tanner Berryhill, had an alright day, ran inside the top 25. Chad Fincham, someone we've never really heard from all day, is in 25th. Carl Busch, 26th, who's ran in the back. Ty Majeski is in 27th. Alex Bowman is in 28th. Your post of Jimmy Johnson is in 29th. Hamlin is in 30th. Byron, 31st. Eric Jones is in 32nd. Looks like Parmenard's in 33rd. Eh, had a rough day. Austin Dillon. Oh my gosh, he was up there. But he has major, major left side damage. And right side damage. What happened to him? But he's in 34th. Which means the car's behind him. LeJoy is in 35th. He probably must have right side damage. Oh no, he's in 40th. Huh, something... That's odd. Oh wow. So, from the looks of it, LeJoy is... Four laps down. And, uh, whatchamacallit. Kislowski's one lap down. And Bubba. Is also one lap down. I thought LeJoy was gonna get lapped. Yeah, LeJoy's about to get lapped by Almirola for a fifth time. Something happened to him. Hold on. Let's look back because this race is boring. It is 10 laps ago, by the way. Oh, hold up. I just saw it. Oh, yeah. Nemechek just bumped him. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you saw that, like, he just sort of flickered in and out. 
That would usually mean that he's done, or at least for a few laps. Yeah, he stays still for extra time. Let's see what happened to Dylan, because th that, that had to happen during pit road. Oh no. Uh, happened off of pit road. Oh, that's where that came from. Oh my. Oh my gosh. How is that not a caution, first off? That's why there was a huge sep- That's why Lawson was back there. So, from what it looks like, Dylan and Lawson collided off a pit road. Berry Hill, Bush. Boyer almost gets into it. Fincham runs into the back. Yeah. Well, let's go back live. Sucks for Dylan. And Lawson. They were both way up there. Oh. I'm a Ola. Wow. He got passed for the lead. As we're coming on to five laps to go, the top three have now bunched together. Fleece is gonna lead that lap. Five laps to go, Priest will separate himself from Stenhouse and Almirola. Looks like everyone is single file throughout. Yeah, literally everyone is single file. So, yeah, yep, Priest is leading. Uh, they are gonna lap off Dylan for the first time, who was racing up with them. With Ryan Priest winning, oh, what a story it'll be for JTG. Chris Buescher won uh, ISM, and to have uh, Priest win this one, to win this race, would just be absolutely amazing. Oh, is Austin Dillon gonna get in the way of any of these guys? Oh, he gets in the way a bit of Stenhouse, but shouldn't do too much. Priest is gonna pull away from that. Oh no, he's holding up Almirola. Almirola? Oh yeah. I don't know if Almirola just drove into the back of him. Yeah, now, now Dylan gets out of the way. But that, that basically ruined Almirola's chances. We are headed up to two laps to go. Let's... Yeah, Ryan Priest, like... Holy, if he wins. Like, if he wins, that would just be amazing for the team. Let's see what's happening to the pack before we turn back to Priest. Should be this one. 
uh, they formed a little pack of their own. There's also a bigger pack back here. Oh yeah, they're still going strong. Up. Oh. Ryan Priest is gonna get the white flag. So that's flag ends the race. We have gone green the whole time. And this is really show, like... This is just show what, like, driver's patience and all. That stack up in the back, uh, that stack up off of pick row just ruined a couple of front corners. So yeah. Off of turn 4. Ryan Priest, a rookie by the way, will win the Auto Club 400! Just, just how he pulled off at the end was amazing. Like yeah, Stenhouse and Almirola got held up by Jack, uh, 3 quarter of Austin Dillon a little bit, but I still feel as if he would have won anyway. He passed both Stenhouse and Almirola after pick load, and I honestly think he deserved it. Like, he was up front all day. What I do want to see, though, is where he passed them. Yeah, so you see Chase Elliott was in second. So this was the pass, way back, like, four laps after. Chase Elliott fell back because he was on older tires from pitting earlier. And that's what happened to Almirola too. He just fell off. I guess they just used a bit much of it. Like they tried to fight, but yeah. Like you could see the gap decrease from like 1.41 to, you know, like this was... 0.93 I think this one is gonna go down to 0 0.3 Yeah, 0 0.32 Wait, hold up, did I see something? Oh yeah, Chris Busher's engine just blew So Chris Busher was running in 5th A 4th And it just Wow, that sucks. Yeah, that's gonna hold up. Oh, no, it's not. But that sucks for last week's uh, race winner, Chris Bosher. He won at ISM by pit strategy, and he was with uh, he was with Senhouse and his teammate Ryan Priest. But at, at about this time. Priest was right on Hamlin's uh, bumper. And I think he just passed him on the inside. Yeah, 0 0.32. They were catching up. They were catching up really fast. And honestly, they just had the better car all day too. Yeah. He's gonna pass him here. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna just let them by. Knowing that they're faster. Let's see if anyone else DNF. Cause I th don't think so, yeah. Uh, 37 just blew an engine. So congratulations on Ryan Priest for winning that race. That honestly sucks for Busher cause he would've finished top 3 for sure. And yeah. Uh, let's see the point standings. So, yeah, Hammock, yeah, 100 point gap difference between 1st and 3rd, Hammock is just dominating top, uh, 3 top 10, so is Stenhouse, this is a really tight battle, Hammock still has the most lap count, it's sort of the same stats, really, uh, Chris Busher went down to 4th, 
after finishing dead last. Yeah, some people were, uh, Chris Bush has led 80% of the races. Like, he's led in 80% of the races, so that's good for him. So now he's at two poles, which has helped him get second in the standings. He also got second throughout in the race. So, hmm. Uh, the Xfinity guys fell back. Custer down to 22nd. Christopher Bell down to 27th. Those are the only two. Oh, yeah, I should also add Majeski. And John Hunter and a few others. But those are the two notable Xfinity guys. Back here in last, uh, Tanner Berryhill. He he still hasn't doesn't have a top ten. In fact, Ryan Reed, Christopher Bell, Bowman, Hamlin, Bush, Eric Jones, and Tanner Berryhill have not had a top ten yet. Joe Gibbs is doing really bad this season. Bell uh, who is the other guy? Yeah, Montrez Jr. has had one top 10. So, the five of them have combined for one top 10. That is not something you want to look for in a team. I I do believe that Johnson still has the most top 10. So, I'm pleased to let, a, pleased to let a plenty. Think, I think he was probably at zero before. No, he wasn't. But... He's led plenty this race. So has uh, Stenhouse and now over. So that gets them almost to 20 laps led. Good job to them. Uh, is there any other notable stats? Most top 10s is tied between Hemrick, Stenhouse, and Busher. That's why Busher's up there. Still a bunch of guys with no top 10s. Busher has uh, three top 5s. Good job. So all of his top 10s were top 5s. That's why he's so high up. And yeah, five guys are split between wins. If uh, we were to go with uh, 20... Like the current playoff, Reagan would not be in because he's 31st in standings. Well, thanks for tuning in. Sorry for a monotone commentary, honestly. If you stuck through with that. I didn't really use that much emotion throughout the race. But... Yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you next race.